This is eHobbyist blog, a log of electronics hobbyist activities aimed at city dwellers, retirees, students, and other not so nefarious characters who have limited space, limited money, and limited time. My name is Neil. Welcome. During this video, we will start work on the prototyping system's second sub-function, breadboard, beginning with the binding posts. The second function of the prototyping system is a breadboard, the circuit being prototyped. The breadboard function consists of a number of components. The one that I'm going to tackle today are uh, the power binding posts. The panel layout calls for the binding posts that are going to be distributing power to be top center of the top panel. What I want to have is one color of binding post uh, per voltage and associated common or ground. Uh, in addition, I want to have one terminal for chassis ground in case that's needed. And somewhere in there, we're going to have a uh, USB connector to provide 5 volts power to circuits being uh, prototyped and possibly at some point in the future to also provide some sort of connection to a PC once these uh, analog controls are converted uh, to digital controls and microcontrollers. Let's take uh, the uh, breadboard components and move them away so I have some working room. Take the rectangle representing the binding posts and move that out of the way. So I'm going to establish a line and all of the binding posts, the holes for the binding posts are going to be drilled on that line. And it's so roughly a half an inch, give or take. After extensive measurements and so forth, I just decided, hey, here's a good place to put it. <laughs> Let's not futz around any further. Roughly half an inch from the top of the panel. Now, one of the things I need to do is I need to have separate colors of binding posts representing each voltage and each associated common or ground and uh, that represents a problem so I just gathered all the different binding posts I could get a hold of of different colors and now the problem is to establish some sort of correspondence between colors and voltages and I looked through the literature and really could not find any kind of definitive color scheme. Uh, there's the ATX power scheme and there's some DC voltage power schemes and none of which were, uh, were quite appropriate. What I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know, let me just lay this stuff out. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have uh, yellow on the extreme left. Let me get a little close up here. Representing the uh, plus 20 volt variable regulated power source. Uh, brown is the associated negative of that regulated power supply. The metal colored binding post is going to be chassis ground. White, gold, and blue are going to be the dual tracking regulators, 0 to 20 white and 0 to minus 20 blue. The remaining three binding posts, red will be plus 5 volt for digital, green will be uh, plus 3.3, and black will be the digital ground. Now, the problem I next face is, well, these are different types of binding posts and I've got to start measuring the hole diameters required to mount them. Now, I've got three different types of uh, binding posts, just looking for different colors and 
grab bag of types as typified by the first three binding posts, yellow, brown, and chrome. The yellow binding post has uh, a straight through bolt, I guess. The, the second one, the brown one, has a plastic surrounding sleeve which is connected to an enclosure via a threaded nut and a chrome plated binding post that I'm using for chassis ground. I'm using a digital caliper to measure the whole diameters. What I'm interested in is finding the smallest diameter that will accommodate each type of binding post. And the, the calipers is actually fairly cheap. I don't remember the price, but it's also highly accurate to the extent that I'm able to determine accuracy. And I try determining the accuracy by measuring drill bits of uh, known size and also by comparing it to what I see on steel mechanics rulers that are graduated to 50 mils. That's mils, not millimeters, and not uh, thous or these or thines. And they, they seem to be quite accurate, at least accurate to the degree that I can measure accuracy. Having determined the smallest diameter hole for each of the types of bindings, the next step is, well, how far apart are these binding posts going to be placed? And here, what I'm using as a standard is the spacing between two adjacent banana plugs on a dual banana plug connection. So dual banana plugs have a space which I uh, measure with a uh, ruler to be three quarters of an inch. And uh, I don't know that I'd ever use a double banana plug connection, but I want the option of doing so. And so the spacing between these binding posts is going to be 0.75 inch. Now that I have the measurements for the binding posts and the different types thereof, the next step is to transcribe these measurements to the panel layout. And I'm putting some center markers in along that horizontal line representing the centers of the binding posts as measured and next step is to draw in the holes I have a circle here and I'm going to associate with it a dimensioning object that records the dimension of the circle and annotates it and now I can put that in place with the first binding post adjust the annotation if I can see it ah, and, uh, and adjust the size of the circle as appropriate. Now I'm copying the, uh, the first circle, and, uh, the first hole size and for the second type of binding post adjusting that diameter and Having created the second hole marker, I'm going to position it on its uh, center marker, center crosshairs. And finally, the third type of binding post, the chrome binding post I'm using for chassis ground copy the combined objects and place the oops I think I lost a dimensioning object I need to get one and associate that with the circle and position it if I can see it ah and finally adjust the size of the circle to correspond to the proper diameter 1.3 yeah 
Okay, now I've got the first three binding posts, which represent the three different sizes of binding posts, and now it's just a question of cut and paste on the appropriate centerline markers and adjust the colors to correspond to the colors of the binding posts. Now that I have this, I'm going to uh, print off at least that portion of the layout that corresponds uh, to the binding posts and uh, use that as a template for further metalwork. Now that I've printed off the template, what I'm doing is taping a piece of paper so that I can make measurement marks and I'm trying to find the center of this enclosure. I'm measuring first and the left by some arbitrary amount off of the center measurement just a small amount and then I'm going to measure from the right with off exactly the same ruler tick mark and now the actual center of the enclosure top panel is between those two marks Now I have the template and I'm aligning it with the top. I don't want it uh, too close to the top. We need to make account for the uh, actual metal thickness and uh, this uh, back panel is angled inward. We've aligned the two centers and now taping this template on it. And this will serve as a basis for doing uh, center punches and pilot holes. In this video, we reviewed binding post requirements, established binding post position and color scheme, measured the binding post diameters, measured binding post separation based on dual banana plug separation, uh, added center markers and hole indicators to the panel layout, and printed the relevant part of the panel layout off subsequently taped it to the enclosure for use as a template for drilling. In the next video, we'll be drilling holes and mounting the binding posts. If you like this video and the idea of the channel, click on the YouTube thumbs up icon. If you want to be notified as to when the next video is available, click on the YouTube subscribe button. If you want to suggest future directions or topics, make corrections to published videos or voice your opinion on related matters, then leave a YouTube comment. It's not all that difficult and I promise to read it. If you want to see supplementary material that cannot be easily presented in video form, such as high-res graphics, vector graphics, files in different formats, lists of references, uh, go to the corresponding website. Until the next time, good day.